Hello everyone. Imagine I have a static file that shows a Kanda table. It's Kanda UI, but pretty nice. You can change a country for each record. Now notice there is a little bit of delay because it loads the list of countries using an Ajax call, right? So there is this little gap, right? So let's try the test that actually changes the country for the first row in this table. So I have my test down below. I'm already visiting the page. And now I want to confirm that, for example, the country is like maybe column number seven first, so that you can then change the flag country by using the index. So also it contains the header country, right? So this finds us this particular element. And now I can invoke the jQuery index and it will give me the index of that element among its siblings. So in this case, it's seven. So we know that the country is the seventh column. Great. Now I want to make sure that there are actual um, products rows. So I can get the T body and confirm that so at least maybe three products. Okay, and now there are a bunch of them. And the first row is weird, so we want to uh, get the second one. And again, every time I save, it is two runs, and I can double check. Yeah, this is the first product row, not whatever ca category row. And so in this row, I want to find all cells. And if I take the seventh, right, well, in that case, that's the country cell, okay? And if I look at how the cells are organized, right, so this is the cell, okay? And inside there is an image and it tells me the title, which is a country name. So why don't we grab it? Have attribute title and right now it's Bulgaria. Uh, but before we do that, we have to find the image element because it's not on the cell it's on the actual image and perfect okay so we can click on it okay this brings this little picker right and if we inspect it okay so we probably need to click on it again to actually open the list of countries okay and i can see that now this is an active grid cell Okay, so why don't we select it using a compound selector? So we'll get grid and then K picker and we'll click on it. Let's see if this works. Perfect. Okay, well, we know the list of countries has a slight delay because it loads dynamically. And what we can do, oh, it didn't even closes. Okay, let's see what happened when we clicked. Okay, so Notice that if I take the focus away, that list goes away. But if I hover over command, then afterwards it has a dump snapshot. Okay, so we can freeze it and then inspect it right here. And I can see that it's like absolutely positioned, you know, it's extra div and it has its own classes and you know, very different ways to select it, but I think this list, right, with roll list box is pretty nice. So now we can say, okay, after I click on it, then if you get the roll list box, right, then it, it should be visible. And inside, let's get a lot elements, should have length above, let's say, Two, right so we know that it actually loads a couple of countries okay let's see again perfect so now inside this list and let's remove the highlights let's select let's say brazil okay so how do we select brazil it's ally and you know it just has brazil okay so let's try clicking on that contains ally brazil click well, I think that worked, right? Our first row now has Brazil, right? We clicked on it, it updated. Let's confirm this, right? Let's go back to our 
original code, right? We can um, still just copy paste it and Brazil. Okay, well, now we have a problem, right? Because we don't know, like the list doesn't reset itself because what it does, it loads the list from the backend, right? And the way it does it, it loads it using JSONP from, you know, Telerik, the makers of Kanda UI company. And ordinarily, I would ask you to control the data in this situation, right? You can even stop or change the JSONP responses. If you don't know how, you can look at my Cypress network testing exercises course. But in this case, uh, I'll just have to play along, right? I'll just say, okay, if it's Brazil, change it to, I don't know, Great Britain, otherwise change it to Brazil. So here's what we will do. Instead of asserting that this is Bulgaria, once we use should have attribute title, then we'll say, so this is the current country, right? And if the country is Brazil, right, then return Great Britain. Otherwise, return Brazil. And not even return, right? Um, yeah, let's return. So, and we'll save it as the country. And then we're gonna click on the actual flag. Okay, so now we did pretty much the same thing, but we have an Alice. So right here, we saved um, whatever we returned, right? So this is the new country that we want to select. So now we can come right here and we'll say, Sai get this Alice value country, you get the country. And this is the one that we want to set now, okay? So instead of just hardcoding Brazil, just set whatever we determine is not there right now. And then confirm that this was correct. This was set. Okay, I think I clicked on it. Okay, so let's see what happened. So, oh, it still is updating. Notice that this is showing, right? So what we want to do is make sure that the list has finished updating. And so what is this element, right? Why don't we just take this? And after we click, we'll say should not exist. And I'm not sure if it should not exist. Blah, blah. Okay, one more other thing that causes flake is that, okay, we confirmed that that list is there, right? but it still might be re-rendering when it loads. So once we confirm that it has loaded, we want to grab it again. And in this case, right, we want to grab it like this. The list box, right, and then inside li element. So notice right now we're splitting, right? We got the container that shows up and then inside it loads. So we want to make sure the container is shown and then the list is loading and then grab the element separately so that even if it re-renders, right, we get it from, um, again, on a page, right? So the parent doesn't affect the child selection. Um, this is explained in Cypress Retroability Guide that I've written a long time ago. Uh, this is called merging the queries instead of having a chain of commands like get and then get again. We just use a single uh, selector to get the element by querying the page again and again. And I believe Cypress version 10 will actually make those two equivalent and will rerun this whole command chain. But this is a good practice. Once you confirm that something has finished loading, then get it by using top level parent command with a single CSS. Okay, so now what do we have? If it was Great Britain, then we change it to Brazil, right? Because we know the country that we want. And if it's Brazil, then we change it to Great Britain. Perfect. So this is how you test Kanda UI table with dynamically loading data.